Danny. Are you confessing? Well, do you think I should? Uh, I mean, you have to tell the judge. I mean, you can't let Nate go to jail if you're the one who killed Eddie. Do you really think I'd just kill a guy just like that? I don't know. I mean, your cufflink was found by his body. You never explained to me how that happened. Uh, that's true. Yeah, and now you're telling me that you know that Nate isn't the killer. What should I think? Well, no, I just, I was just trying to say that I don't think Nate's capable of murder. Oh. Yeah. Even if I am. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm... I misunderstood. Right. Oh, my God. I have to get to the courthouse. <laughs> okay. See ya. Hey, thanks again for the headline. I know it's gonna help. I hope so. Landview PD. Detective Price speaking. Hi, uh, it's Todd Manning. I have an emergency. Of course I want to do what's right for my son. Then do it. What exactly do you mean by that? I have to go and check on Nate. I need to talk to you. I have to prepare. Okay, you have the wrong guy. Your client confessed. Nate's covering for his mother. I think Inez did it. You're plenty of jailbreaking. I'm a moron. Well, we can't wait for you to have a good idea. I've seen your work. Oh, I can't believe you do this for me, guys. Why not? We gotta stick together. Thanks. Okay, I wish I did have your cash. I would give it back to you. So you really don't have it? I never saw any cash. No, and Dad had it the night I was there. Then who has it? The real killer? I am the real killer. Oh, are you, Nate? Are you the real killer? Hi. It's, it's good to see you boys together. You two need to clear out. It's time. We have an eyewitness that places Nate at the scene. Yeah, he was at the scene. You were at the scene. James was at the scene. Oh, God, you was at the scene. That again, you get my hey. point. The murder weapon was found in Nate's apartment. No, in Nate's mother's apartment. She could just as easily have left the gun there as Nate. No, she couldn't have. Why else would the kid jump up and confess when the judge is about to let him walk? Okay, it's not Inez. Why? How do you know that? She has an alibi. Did you check out the alibi? I don't have to. What, you're gonna take her word for it? Look, I would love to nail Inez for this, but I'm sure. How can you be sure, Nora? Because apparently, while Eddie Ford was getting shot, Inez was having sex. Oh. With my husband. <sighs> I didn't think James had a girlfriend, but I wanted to be sure. Why? Well, I didn't want to get too invested and find out he's taken. Uh, I'm sorry, you're invested? Well, yeah. James is a great guy. We have fun together, but I didn't want things to go further unless he's really available. I mean, it's bad enough with all this stuff with his brother, and now he's going to prison. You seem to know a lot about it. I just feel horrible for the whole family. It sounds like the father was a really bad guy. He was. So, how far have things gone with you and James? Oh, well, you know, we hung out one time at the Buenos Dias Cafe, and we've been texting. Well, you know, about his brother and stuff. I don't get it. Well, the judge closed the hearing. Yeah, but it's gonna be public record anyway. And besides, we're family. Why can't we just be there? Hey, uh... What's going on? I just ran into Star Langston. Yeah. Didn't know you guys knew each other. We're in English lit together, but we just officially met. Mm. Oh, okay. So what's going on with me? Who knows? We're banned from the courtroom, along with everybody else. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Okay. But that's so wrong. You guys are family. Couldn't Nora and Tay agree that it was a I'm uh, sorry. It's court order. This probably is not. But hopefully, Tay has got more important things on her mind than yes. me and James have. Maybe you could use a distraction. What are you uh, talking about? Well, my sorority has a dance on Valentine's Day. Mm. And I'm on the planning committee, so that's why I'm asking so early. So, would you like to go with me? Do you think Nate will be okay? I don't know. He wasn't talking. 
Well, he's kind of a quiet guy. No, he wasn't quiet. He was not talking. There's a difference. Like he was holding on to something. But Nate already confessed to shooting your father. What could be worse? What? I just can't picture Nate shooting anybody. Not even Eddie. Where's the body? What body? You said there was a murder. Well, there was. Eddie Ford, remember? <laughs> Come on, I needed you over here. Worked, didn't it? Look, next time, dial 911. And they'll charge you for filing a false alarm. Well, look, there was a crime committed in this room. You guys dropped the ball. Somebody stole my cufflink out of the box and planted it near Eddie Ford's body. Now you need to dust for prints and find out who it was. Look, Nate Salinger already confessed. There is no more investigation. Well, yeah, there is. There's a new investigation. Who framed Todd Manning? Framed? You can only be framed if you're charged for a crime. No, no, I'm not talking about the cops. I need you to help me clear my name for my daughter's sake. Hey. Hey. I got your note. Wow. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> I figured there was something going on when you hit Inez across the face, and mm. I have to admit, I overheard part of what you said to oh, her. Oh, God, everybody did. Honey, I... I can't believe Bo would do that to you. You guys were meant to be together. Yeah, I guess not so much anymore, huh? But thanks. Anyway, Inez could be the shooter, all right? No, think about it, Nora. Oh, come on, Think Tanya. about it. She could have left Bo sleeping. I know, I'm sorry, that's not a picture you want in your head, but it works with the timetable of the murder. I know it throws a wrench in your case. Oh, no, please, believe me. There's nothing that I'd like to... I believe that Inez would be guilty as hell, and I even have a motive. Yeah, Eddie was an abusive creep. Oh, no, she used Eddie to engineer the breakup of my marriage, and then, and, and then I think she was probably behind my kidnapping. Your kidnapping? Really? Yes, and then she could have shot Eddie to shut him up. Okay, I'll go with you on that. No, you won't, and neither can I. <laughs> Please, as much as I like that sort of revenge fantasy, that's... I have a suspect who has confessed to the crime. A witness, murder weapon, it's too late. Sweetheart, do you really want to send an innocent boy to jail? Get your client to recant, and I won't object. You don't think I've been trying to get him to recant? The kid won't budge. Well, then there's nothing that I can do. Oh, God. Listen, unless something drastic happens or changes in the next few minutes, Nate Salinger is going to be sentenced today. Nate, it is not too late to take back your confession, okay? I can't. Listen to me. I talked to the DA. Neither one of us want to send an innocent boy to jail. We can talk to the judge. We can figure this out, all right? Listen to her, okay? All rise. The court is now in session. Be seated. We're on the record for sentencing in the matter of the Commonwealth versus Nathaniel Q. Salinger. A Valentine's Day dance, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. It's gonna be the best time. Oh. I have a committee meeting. I'll see you soon. I'll see you all later, okay? It was great talking to you. See you yeah. too. Bye. So, that's okay with you? Yeah. It's what we said, right? Yeah. If you're happy, I'm happy. I'm happy. Great. When I think about my little brother in jail for years, Maybe the rest of his life. What? You just called Nate your little brother. I did. I don't know if I've ever heard you say that. Me neither. I don't think I've said it before today. It's true. Nate's my little brother. My family. The defendant, having pled guilty to the charge of criminal homicide, will allocute to the crime and receive sentence. Does the Commonwealth wish to be heard prior to sentencing? Ms. Buchanan. Yes, Your Honor.
Would you like to call anyone to make an impact statement on behalf of the victim, Edward Ford? Oh, no, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to offer any evidence that could mitigate the sentence? Yes, Your Honor. The defense would like to call Nate Salinger's mother. Inez Salinger. What? Yeah, it's Detective Price. We received the results from the prints we took in your room. Yeah? All right, well, we found your prints and your wife's prints all over the dresser. But we also identified a partial on a cuffling box that didn't match you or your wife. Well, whose is it? Miss Salinger, do you love your son? Of course. More than anything in the world. Then why are you letting him take the fall for a murder you committed? On the next One Life to Live. Someone planted a cufflink of mine at the scene of the crime to make it look like I killed Eddie Ford. I need to talk to you about the connection between you and Inez Salinger. Who the hell has got my grandson? Mama's here.